Professor Dignitarish on and off the dais. Good afternoon to all. So today I'm discussing a small topic that is the application of fuzzy logic on FMECA, failure mode effect criticality analysis studies on LNG terminals, especially LNG unloading facilities. So these are the agenda of my presentation. I'll just give an introduction about the different hazard identification and quantification tools. I can mention some of the limitations of these tools. And with the help of fuzzy logic and uh, fuzzy logic and Bayesian network, I am trying to rectify some of the deficiencies of these tools. And today I am especially discussing on uh, the application of fuzzy logic in FMECA, failure mode effect criticality analysis. Then uh, I'll be discussing on what is FMEA, what is FMECA. Majority of you are aware about it. And uh, I'll be discussing a small case study, application of FMEA and FMECA on uh, ABS. All of you are familiar what is ABS. And, uh, some, and uh, some of the limitations of this uh, RPN connected with FMECA are cited in certain literature. I will highlight some of the lit uh, limitations of this RPN. Then I will uh, show you a two minutes video about uh, natural gas value chain. It's a very wonderful uh, video. So please give some more time for the <laughs> playing that video, okay? Then application of fuzzy, and then I will discuss another case study that is application of fuzzy logic on FMECA on LNG unloading facility. So I am having more slides and uh, I will be giving just uh, uh, important point in that and uh, later on if somebody is interested to interact with me, we can interact, okay? So these are the hazard identification and quantification tool. PHA stands for process hazard analysis, but here I am telling it as a preliminary hazard analysis. Then FETI, also known as uh, Dow, uh, Dow Index, Fire and Explosion and Toxicity Index, also known as Dow Index. Then HASOP, Hazard and Operability Study, the well-known hazard identification tool. Then fault tree analysis, uh, uh, fault tree analysis, event tree analysis, water analysis, layer of protection analysis, and fa failure mode effect analysis. FMECA, failure mode effect criticality analysis. Today our focus is FMEA and FMECA. So this is a worksheet of fire and explosion index. So all of you are familiar, this is a HASOP worksheet. Then uh, this is fault tree analysis. In fault tree, the major problem that we are facing, we, are, we need to get the failure probability data of basic events. But unfortunately, in India, we are not getting that data. So we are getting, we are laying on the data from CCPS data, ORIDA data, et cetera, for our fault tree analysis for estimating the top event probability. And we have developed a uh, database, uh, database for the failure probability values of the basic events uh, for conducting fault tree with the help of fuzzy logic by using expert elicitation. Then uh, this is a typical event tree. Then bot analysis. Bot analysis is a combination of uh, fault tree analysis and event tree analysis. And there will be a center, uh, center event that is called a critical event in fault tree. That critical event will be the top event. In the case of event tree, that uh, critical event will be the initiating event. Then, of course, the layer of protection analysis. LOPA uh, also have certain limitations. With the help of, uh, by integrating fault tree and LOPA, we can identify the limitations of LOPA. So uh, uh, due to lack of time, I'm not discussing all those things. Then uh, coming to our topic, failure mode effect analysis and uh, failure mode effect criticality analysis. So if you are having a system, a system is having a number of components and there are different failure modes for different components. So in this FMEA analysis, what we are doing is we need to identify the failure modes of different components. And then what will be the effect of that failure mode on the system? So that analysis is simply failure mode effect analysis. And when you are introducing a criticality aspects into that, it is called FMECA. That means which element or which failure of which component will be more critical to your system. That analysis, we are simply calling it as FMECA, failure mode effect criticality analysis. So what I have mentioned is there in that slide. And this is the FMEA worksheet. Then a simple case study on ABS system is there. So all of you are aware what is ABS. ABS is used in our car. It is anti-lock braking system. So it is something similar to a SIS, safety instrumented system. A safety instrumented system which consists of three parts. Which are the three parts? One is a sensor, other one is a logic solver, and third one is a control element, okay? So here in this ABS also, there are three elements. One is sensor. Second one is a control, uh, sorry, second one is a control valve, and the third one is 
Third one is the logic solver. So sensor S1 and S2 to measure the speed of uh, two front wheels. So what is the purpose of this uh, ABS system? To avoid skidding. When it will skid? When the front wheel is very less when compared to that of the rear wheel, skidding will happen. So this sys system or the ABS is it will avoid, avoid that, okay? So for that, it will sense the speed of the front wheel as well as the speed of the rear wheel, and uh, it will feeding into a microcomputer, and accordingly, the microcomputer will give a command to open the valves, valves to reduce the braking effect, okay? So this is a sample FMEA worksheet, uh, worksheet on ABS system component. So I'll just discuss the first one. A front wheel sensor S1 or S2 is not, uh, S1 or S2, the failure mode is no output signal, and the failure effect is microcomputer will assume that one wheel has stopped and will send a signal to open the corresponding valve and partial loss of front wheel braking. So similarly, for each component, we can, uh, we can find out the failure mode and the failure effects. Then if you are, if you are able to know the frequency, or the, or the probability of occurrence of that failure mode. We can classify, there are so many standards which will give you the classification for this frequency class, and it's severity class, and then non-detection class. So if you know this uh, classification, we can estimate one number that is called RPN, that is risk priority number, okay? In FMEA, FMEC, FMEA, FMECA, risk priority number is very important. We need to calculate that, and uh, depending upon that value, higher the value, the higher the risk will be there. So we need to focus on that particular component. That is uh, RPN. But in this, uh, in this table, you can see that when you are estimating, uh, we will get same values. So in a system, you may get similar values. So that is the problem highlighted by the researchers, how we can address that problem. So some of the limitations of conventional RPN uh, mentioned by uh, certain researchers are mathematical formula for calculating RPN is questionable and debatable. Conventional RPN is calculated as the product of OIS and D. In the morning session, you could see a very nice uh, risk matrix. So in one axis, frequency is there, and the other axis, severity is there. So if you know the, uh, the frequency class and severity class, we can know the risk level, whether the risk is low, medium, or high. So similarly, this, uh, F, uh, this RPN is the extension of that. One more parameter is coming into that. That is nothing but the non-detection. So if you are simply multiply, multiplying these three, it is a wrong concept. So in one of our paper, we established that that concept is wrong, but somebody, for simplicity, it is introduced in that way, okay? So by using fuzzy logic, we can uh, solve this issue. Ah, yeah, yes. Application of fuzzy logic to rectify the limitations of conventional RPN. Okay. So this is a video related to natural gas value chain. I am not showing this thing, but uh, at the end I'll, I'll, I'll play this thing so that we can complete the entire proceedings. So issues associated with the natural gas operation, major issues associated with the natural, natural gas operations are Loss of containment from the, loss, uh, from the storage tank, loss of containment during transportation through sea, and loss of containment during unloading and leakage during distribution. So these are some of the accident statistics. Then uh, once there is an accident uh, happens, so we can model what will be the impact with a lot of software like uh, Safety, FAST, then uh, Aloha, et cetera, et cetera. Then uh, I'll be focusing on the, only on the unloading part of uh, uh, this terminal. So this is an unloading jetty, and uh, this picture is taken from uh, Petronet LNG Kochi. And these are the unloading arms. Okay. Okay. 
So this is a video related to an accident associated with the unloading operations of uh, LNG terminal. Then uh, this is brief description of unloading facility. I'm not discussing in detail, and uh, the details are available. And I will show you one paper that can be downloadable. In that paper also, the details are available. And there are so many parts for this unloading arm. And these are the various parts of the unloading arm. And we conducted the failure mode effect analysis for that particular uh, unloading facility. I'm just showing only a sample. And there is an exhaustive list of uh, uh, different parts of the unloading arm. And the failure mode and its effects are also mentioned. It is available in one paper. And uh, I will show you the pep that paper also. Then accordingly, yes? Failure, sir. I, OK. Yeah, yeah, sir. sir. The foundation bolt, then shear failure, then collapse of the arm. That is one failure. Similarly, pantograph cable. Uh, Kochi case, these are the failures. Sir. In that, uh, around 45 uh, component failures we have identified. It is listed, and uh, five are listed in this table. The details are there, and full details are in that paper. Okay, this is a, a, that full list, full list of that uh, unloading, uh, that failure, failure of the different components of the unloading facility. Then uh, we, yes, we need to identify the frequency of that failure. Then uh, we need to classify it is coming under which class. Then we need to identify the severity class and then known detection class. And then we can estimate the RPN, risk priority number. And majority of the case, we will get the same RPN value, same RPN value. So that is a problem we need to rectify with the help of fuzzy logic, OK? So for that, so what we are doing is, in the earlier case, all are the crisp values, but here in the, with the help of fuzzy logic, we will make the function as a continuous function. So, okay, this is the, uh, this is the way we are doing it. And uh, so for doing this analysis, we utilize the MATLAB fuzzy toolbox, and the analysis is carried out by using fuzzy linguistic variable for uh, the frequency or the occurrence then severity and non-detection, and then we are using then if-then rule basis to interconnect these variables to reach a fuzzy F RPN called FRPN value. There are three inputs, that is uh, occurrence or the frequency, then severity, detection, and we fuzzify all these inputs, and we will get a output, uh, fuzzified output, fuzzified RPN, FRPN, which will rectify the problems of the conventional FMECI. So these are the rules. And this is a rule viewer, and uh, finally we will we will be able to prioritize it in a better way. So, uh, as a conclusion, the proposed fuzzy FMECI method was invented to overcome the deficiencies of tra uh, traditional FMECI techniques that relied on RPN. And the analysis was carried out by using fuzzy linguistic variable for occurrence, severity, and non-detection, and then using if-then rule base to inter interact these variables to reach a fuzzy RPN or FRPN values. So. There are so many other uh, limitations uh, cited in the literature that also rectify. And these are the two publications uh, on this particular area. The left paper, that is application of fuzzy failure mode effects criticality analysis on unloading facil facility of LNG terminal. That is what is I discussed. And the other paper is fuzzy FMECA on LNG storage facilities published by our research group.